And we're back. This is part two of my favorite podcast. If you haven't watched part one, I shall have it linked below and somewhere on top of this screen. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Or if you haven't seen a video from me, hi, I'm Binti Mazza. So let's jump to this because we don't want it to be as long as part one, okay? All right, so now the six. Six, six. The six um, podcast that I happen to love at this moment is good or bad and incomplete stories we tell ourselves and this one is by Heather Lani Lanier Lanier I don't know I'm just gonna have it down here and basically what she says is she gives a story and how she keeps answering good or bad had to say um, as she basically talks about if we label a situation as good or bad we take away from it um, just like that's if we label anything really if you think about it but if you label a situation good or bad you take away from it so what she says is that good or bad had to say there's good and there is bad in a situation you don't have to specifically label it as one of the two okay the next one is we you should aim for perfection and stop fearing failure and it's a TED talk by John Bowers and he talks about how these days everybody tells you to just try and if you fail that's okay nobody aims for perfection and I was, about, I was a bit iffy about it but I understood what he meant like these days it's like the bare minimum is okay nobody wants you to aim for perfection so she was saying that like for instance if it was a pilot if we just take a pilot who passes a test and is not really good at flying airplanes chances are at some point they're going to crash so there is room for so much to go wrong if we don't aim for perfection and i don't think this is necessarily discouraging people to try and if they're not very good at something they should just stop it basically means you just keep on working on what you're good at until to the point where it's going to be perfect and it's never going to be perfect there's always something new to learn but learn till your capacity don't just settle for good enough you know and for perfection okay the next one is called is there someone you want to thank and is by the science of happiness and in this podcast they were this lady was talking about how she wrote a thank you letter she was an immigrant and then she came to America with her kid and she barely spoke English and one day she went to the library and this lady just offered her kid a book and maybe her a book and that was where that was like the starting point for her she has written a book for kids I think a children's book or maybe just a, a book and she has always remembered that moment you would you, you should listen to her she's like breaking down crying because she was really touched by that moment and it is it was powerful it touched my heart i was very moved by that podcast and i feel like you should also watch it okay the next one is also from the sense of happiness and it says why you should laugh at yourself like sometimes it makes silly things and you need to laugh at yourself don't wait for other people to laugh at you <laughs> i laugh at myself at times i think that i'm like Rupa, that is very stupid and just love at myself and i had some notes here it says um humor is important it helps you recover faster and it's linked to psychological well-being so when you love like it, laughter is the best laughter is the best medicine literally this is not like a cliche laughter is the best medicine so laugh more laugh at yourself laugh at silly things just laugh when you can there is no bad time for laughing. Well, there's some bad time for laughing, but laugh as much as you can. Okay, so the last one is from Optimal Living Daily, the personal development, and the title is the title is Why Am I So Lazy and How to Stop Being Lazy? And it's a it's a blog post by Ramit Sethi. Sethi, and basically, I'm going to write here. Um, it says, give yourself permission to fall. Honor your words, start planning your actions and breaking them down into manageable chunks and get others to keep you accountable. And it says about six behaviors to help you stop being lazy and they're all mentioned and I will have a link to the blog post below. So that completes the 10 podcasts that I am currently loving. I've listened to all these podcasts and I will suggest that you listen to them too. And if you can listen to them, maybe you can use some of the blog posts that 
they have written or listen to the TED Talks. I'm going to link everything I've talked about in the description section, but don't quote me on that. If I don't, I will have a blog post coming up soon about all the podcasts that I like and the links to the podcast or the talk or the blog post for those who can't access the podcast. But that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy this and I would suggest people to listen to podcasts. It never takes away anything. You can master us when you're doing podcasts and I listen to them in the morning when I'm getting ready on my way to work at night. I listen to them anytime I'm doing something that doesn't require me to think. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to keep spreading the African love and I shall see you in my next video. Kwaheri!